Hello everyone and welcome back to Creative Paper Studio. I'm your host Cassie. So today is part three in my second Tim Yu unboxing and today's video is going to be dedicated to this little guy. So I had the option of getting pink or blue and I chose to get the pink and this is a thermal printer. Um, the thermal printer connects to your phone. There's an app on your phone that you use. So that's why you see my phone today. Um, I'm going to walk you through how this is used and how I plan to use the prints from it. So first of all, let's talk about what you get with it. So um, I believe it's right around $20 for this and you get the printer and then inside the box and I've already put mine in a little container. But inside the box, you get the charging cord, which is your micro charging cord. And then you get a little pack of markers to color in your pictures if you choose to do so. Then you get three of regular thermal paper. I have one in here already that is the thermal paper. So you get three thermal papers, and then you get three thermal sticker papers. As you can see, I've already been playing with it a little bit. You also get this mini printer manual, which explains to you how to charge it, how to use it. Um, it's got a little QR code here that you can scan if you want. Otherwise, you can just type in to your Google or... Um, Apple iPhone. It does work for Apple iPhones as well. You can just search fun print in your app store and it brings it right up. It shows you how to change the paper, which I will show you guys how to do that. And then it gives you some warnings and stuff for the battery. Now, I have played with it a little bit. So, um... This is just a few of the things that it can do. This is like a sticky note. And then this is one of their preset images. This is an image that I took. And then another one of their images. And then another one of the trees. So. Um, so far, I have noticed that it's it's very user friendly. It's very easy to use, uh, very easy to change the paper. Um, it charged up pretty quickly. When you first get it, you want to do a complete charge on it before you use it. But so let's talk about changing the paper first. So to change the paper, it's very simple. You have this button on the bottom right hand corner that you just push that button in and it pops open. And all you have to do is take the paper out. And it does. It did come to me preloaded with a roll of paper. And this is just the regular thermal paper. But I'm going to swap it out. And I'm going to put in my thermal sticker paper. Now I like to tighten up my roll and make sure my roll is nice and, you know, neat and tidy. But the way you're going to want to load it is you're going to want to make sure that when you, so all you do is you set this down in there, but when you set it down in there, you want the paper to be coming from the underneath up. And then you want to make sure for the first time that you have just a little bit sticking out. That's probably too much. So let me, I don't want to waste a lot of my paper so let me just get this the way it's supposed to be so just stick that down in there pull it up a little bit and like that so I'm happy with that right there so right here is your charging port and it lights up red when it's charging and over here on the top left hand side is your power button so you're gonna go ahead and hold that power button You'll hear it make a little bit of noise, and it also turns on 
and you see this blue flashing light, which means it's ready to be used. So on the phone, I have already downloaded the app. The app looks like that. It's like a little cat face. Kind of looks like the, the little machine. So I'm just going to open my app. And then this is what the app looks like. So it says it's connected, so it's already connected to the device for me. So on here, you have all these different options. And I haven't played with all of them yet. I've just played with a few of them. Um, so for example, if you want to print one of your own pictures, which today I do for what I'm going to show you guys how I'm using it, then you click on Select Picture and it brings up all your pictures. So today I want to print this picture and I want to print this picture. So anyway, um, you can print one picture at a time. So I'm going to click done. It shows me the picture. I can rotate it if I want to. I'm not going to rotate it. Now down here you have an X, you have the rotation and you have a check mark. So what I see is fine. I'm going to hit the check mark and then I'm going to hit print and it's printing. I'm just going to close that little pop up that came up. Rip my picture off, and there I have the picture that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and print my other picture, because there's one more picture I want to print. Hit done, hit the check mark, and then hit print. And that one's done. So as you can see, it prints rather quickly. And it's thermal, so the prints are black and white, as you can see. Now, let's go in and take a look at some of the other features that it has. So I really like the sticky note feature. It has all these preloaded uh, images for us. And you can just scroll through here and find what you're looking for and print it. So I'm going to see. They don't have a book per se. Because I'm going to show you guys in my book journal how I'm going to use this a little bit. So let's go ahead and print this guy just for fun. There's nothing I want to write on here. As you've seen, you can type and it'll put on there what you want. So I already have the book, so I don't need to put anything on there. So I'm just going to, up here in the top right corner, you see the little print button. I'm going to hit print. It's going to bring me back to the print screen. And then I'm just going to hit print again. And it's going to print out their preloaded image for me. So, there's that one. Super quick, super easy. So, other things that you can do, um, they have like text scan. Like I said, I haven't played with that, so I don't know exactly what that does. Um, they have the to-do list, which is just like the sticky notes. Only all of these say to-do list on them. So you got quite a few different options there for that. They've even got like a little roll of paper. Um, 
also down here underneath material, they have all these preloaded things. So this one's like days. So they have Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, April Fools. So they have all these and yes, they're in color on here, but when you go to print them, it's not going to be in color. It's going to be the black and white. So um, let's just, for fun, pick one. I saw one that I thought was cute. This one right here. So there's that. Again, you just hit the print button and then it brings you to this screen and it shows you that it's gonna convert it to black and white because it's thermal. So there's that. Then you've got like your basics. So you can do like thank yous. There's architecture stuff. Um, there's different characters, which are like people. There's snowflakes. Entertainment. Letters. And then there's like different animals. And so you can choose like the different types of animals. They've got some bugs on here. I don't know why there's people under insects, but okay. You can do fish. There's birds. And then they have materials. So characters elements, animals, plant, and then they've got like food stuff. So there's a lot of stuff to explore on here. Um, to go back to the home screen, you just hit the index button and it brings you back to this. And, um, you can do like labels with it to label your things and just lots of different options for it. You can do text here, which is where you just put like whatever. And then you'd hit print. And you'd print it. So, anyway, that is the gist of the printer itself. And how I plan on using it is I have my, I call this my book book. It is um, my journal that I'm keeping track of, the books I've read this year and stuff, and my goal and all that. So what I thought I could do, because I read these two books, uh, this one was called Verity, and the other one was called The Wife Upstairs. And they're by two completely different authors, but um, the books themselves were pretty similar. So I wanted to write about those in my book. So I figured... I can take these, and these are the, the sticky paper, so the stickers. And I figured I could just put this down in here, like so, and then put the other one with it. like this. Oops, I got on my lace a little bit there. I'll just fix that. Okay, so I've got those in there and now I can write next to this. Um, and then I can also come in here and trim 
around this sticky note that we did. And I'm doing a bit of a kiss cut on it. Just bear with me one second here while I trim this out. Cut the little bottom off to make that straight. And now the fun part to get it apart. Okay, let's get our pokey tool. There we go. And I can take this now and put it on my page somewhere. Let's put it down here in the corner. So now... I have this that I can put on here. So I have room to write here, and then I have room to write here, and a little bit down here, and I've got my two pictures of my book. So it's very simple to use this, and it's going to make um, journaling a little bit easier and nicer for me because it's so little, you can take it, on the go with you you know you can stick it in your pocket and it's very easy to travel with and things like that so anyway I really enjoy this purchase I think it was a really good purchase I think it's really good price for what you're getting um, just remember it is a thermal printer so you're not going to get colored pictures from it so that's when it comes in to play with them sending you the um the markers so for example this kind of looks like a fall a fall tree so i could come in here with the markers and just do like dots of orange and red and yellow on here and it will look like the tree in the fall so there's some orange let's add some red And then we'll add some yellow. And of course, you can use your own markers for this or um, whatever you want to use. You could maybe even watercolor on the paper or, you know, whatever. So just by taking that and adding some little dots to it of different colors makes it look like a fall tree so that's another option you can do with this and um like i said i haven't explored all the options that it can do but i have played with it enough to know that i like it and i will be using it um in my own projects so yeah fun little toy it was pretty cheap um fast shipping i'm really impressed by their shipping um and they're of course their customer service is great at timu so there's also that as a plus so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little video on my little printer that i got from timu let's just move this in here so you can you can see and again, I want to thank Timu for sending me this product to review for them. And like I said, I do not get paid for this. I get their products for free in um, return for my honest opinion and review. And if I don't like something, guys, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. Um, I know I say that in every video, but 
I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm going to give you 100% um, honesty here on their products. And so far, out of all their products I've bought, I am happy and satisfied with all of them. So, with all that being said, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share the video to get me out there. And make sure you turn on that notification bell when you subscribe. That way you get notified of all my new videos that I release. Anyway, until next time, do what you love and keep it crafty. And I'll see you all in the next one. Toodles!